He's Deadpool's friend who's just trying to pay the rent. We're talking about Hydra Bob. Hi, I'm Nando, and in this series, I take a character from Marvel Comics. I talk about their background, their power set, their personality, and I give you some reading recommendations. And this is all because this week, this character is being introduced into the collectible card game, Marvel Snap. So if you've always wanted to learn about this character, that's the first 80% of the video. The Marvel Snap stuff is the last 20%. And this should be kind of a quick one, because Hydra Bob is not that complicated of a character. He's fun, don't get me wrong, and I think he fills a very interesting niche. I'm honestly surprised they haven't done more with him and that he has not had a limited series or something like that because the idea of the Marvel Universe from the perspective of a henchman I think could be pretty fun. So anyway, this character first shows up in Cable and Deadpool issue 38 in 2007. His old deal is he's a guy who works for Hydra. In fact, he specifically has a blog. Uh, so he just worked, started working for Hydra. He says in the blog he wanted to get good dental insurance. However, it turns out that's AIM. But either way, this guy can't hold down a job. His wife's like, you got to do something. He's kind of a coward, but he manages to get a job with Hydra. And he works at their Pakistan base. That's important because Agent X, a mercenary character, just got stuck in their Pakistan base. So Deadpool has to go and rescue him because Agent X's two friends were able to convince Deadpool somehow that he needed to do this. Also, this is kind of important for this story. Uh, Deadpool's little because Deadpool had a Pym Particle uh, accident. Well, not accident. So I can't remember which. A C-list villain gave Deadpool the Pym Particles as a joke. Uh, to make him small and then realized afterwards that he didn't have any way to cure him So it's just like oh, you're small now and that's what a lot of this book is So Deadpool goes to rescue Agent X and he bumps into Bob agent of Hydra the one from the blog and Deadpool needs to get into this facility But like he's small so some of it is hard for him to do and also it would just take a while to get around So he takes Bob hostage beats him up with his little ID card lanyard thing we don't see it on screen but he basically turns Bob into his ratatouille situation and again because Bob is a coward and also he's not really ideologically in it with Hydra he just wants a paycheck if he's threatened by Deadpool he'll just give up like he'll he'll do whatever Deadpool says so he gets Deadpool through this facility they find Agent X in the beginning of the comic Agent X gets shot with like an arthritis ray but it turned out to be and I swear this is 2007 so this was kind of I don't know edgy back then we're in like the South Park Team America kind of like uh, time for comedy. He gets hit with the American Ray, which makes him want to eat a lot. So Agent X cannot be a mercenary anymore, but he still has Agency X. So Agent X is like, hey, Deadpool, how about you do this? Oh, and this new guy that's helping you out, Hydra Bob, he, could, he can come too. And this is Deadpool, so of course, there's lots of zany fourth wall breaking, like Deadpool basically saying, hey, why is this guy here? Are we trying to start like a spinoff? Is this my new sidekick or my new henchman? I think he tries a bunch of different terms. I think he lands on Minion. But either way, that's Hydra Bob's deal. He'll do whatever. He doesn't seem like that's the thing about Hydra in the comics. It is just, I would say, the highest profile evil organization. We're right up there with AIM and I guess the hand. But like they hire people to work for them. It's very much the clerk's Death Star contractors conversation where like Hydra Bob should know better. But in theory, there's a lot of these guys who like need to pay the rent. And this is a growth industry in the Marvel Comics universe. So Bob hangs around Deadpool for the Cable and Deadpool series and becomes Deadpool's kind of sidekick. Again, he sometimes goes by pet or minion, depending on what Deadpool is feeling at the moment. But the idea is like he's the worst sidekick you could get. He's not incredibly skilled. He's not very smart and he's not very brave, but he will work for Deadpool, a character that many characters, and I'm assuming like high level henchmen find quite annoying. So, you know, you take who you can get. So like, what does Hydra Bob do? Well, he's almost like, and I say he's a sidekick. He honestly feels like a sidekick in the sky high sense of the word. Like, he's almost like a caddy for Deadpool. Like Deadpool, for instance, uh, gets in a fight with Wolverine, gets his head cut off. It is Hydra Bob's job to go and grab the head and find it and put it back on Deadpool's body. And in the end of this Cable and Deadpool series, Cable sort of leaves and it becomes a Deadpool and Bob team up book. They go to the past and beat up Arnim Zola. And it's funny because he's a Hydra agent stopping Hydra. So if there was any way to rehabilitate his character from being a Hydra agent, it's that. They fight T-Ray, Deadpool's sort of nemesis. They go to the Savage Land to get dinosaurs to send to Magneto as a prank. It doesn't go well. Uh, they have to fight the dinosaurs like in the regular like New York. The dinosaurs get venomized. Bob accidentally kills one of them, but because the news crew sees Bob do this, they think he's a good guy. They're like, oh yeah, you're the best, and obviously got that H on your chest, which stands for hero, so, you know, congratulations, you're the hero, and Bob's like, all right, this is cool, my wife respects me, good. That's, that's pretty much the end of Hydra Bob's run. 
He shows up again in Dark Rain, gets hired by Norman Osborn to kill Deadpool. He was also a pirate with Deadpool for a little bit, which he was very excited about until Deadpool explained to him that he wasn't actually going to be the first mate. Hydra Bob was really going to be the parrot in this team. Other things, he was at Deadpool's wedding with Sikla, and he went with Squirrel Girl as his date, so that's cool. Good for him. And I think the most recent thing he's done, the villain Madcap, the other closest thing Deadpool has to an arch nemesis, used Hydra Bob to kind of regrow himself in Hydra Bob's body. Uh, Deadpool was able to get the Madcap out of him, so Hydra Bob, I guess, still exists. The only other thing I'll say about Hydra Bob, even though he is a very low level Marvel character, he's not technically the lowest because there is a Bill Agent of AIM who is below him. He has even fewer appearances and matters much less. Overall, Hydra Bob doesn't really have any superpowers. He's not particularly good at any aspect of his job besides just like showing up and doing what Deadpool tells him. Like he'll try to like fly a plane. He'll, you know, he'll give it a shot, but he's, he doesn't know how to do that. And he can't even really throw super well, which is a pretty important uh, job if you're like a caddy, a golf caddy for Deadpool. You got to get him the guns, but he can't do that. And his main personality trait is he is a coward. The thing that he feels mo the most like, honestly, and like, I feel like I am even thinking about some of the things he's done in the comics and imagining them happening, but through the eyes of this character, he's either of the main two henchmen from Venture Brothers, where he's just like a guy who has a day job, who kind of thinks this is kind of fun, you know, he yells out catchphrases because like that's what they tell him to do. But in reality, like if the Cheesecake Factory was paying more that day, he would work at the Cheesecake Factory. As far as what to read, I mean, those early Cable and Deadpool stories are really where he does his most important stuff. Also, like, a good introduction to him because he is kind of the main character of that first issue, 38, uh, which is written by Fabian Nicieza, with art by Riley Brown, Jeremy Freeman, Dave Sharp, and Gotham Entertainment Group. Also, pretty cool covers on these, which doesn't, the art doesn't look like this, but, like, I do like these, and I just want to credit uh, Scotty Young, who is credited as the penciler uh, for those covers. I remember seeing this cover and going like, wow, what a cool issue. I can't wait to see and it just look, it doesn't look bad. It looks like a regular, you know, comic, um, but, you know, very stylish. You know, if you want to read one good Hydra Bob issue, Cable and Deadpool 44 is an issue that is kind of written from Hydra Bob's perspective, so much so that he gets like a stat card in the beginning of the book. And issue 50 in that run of Cable and Deadpool is one where he fights a Triceratops and kills it kind of by accident, but gets credit. And then his wife is like, that was hot. And he's like, cool. So that's like a pretty good Hydra Bob moment. Hydra Bob actually does kind of show up in Deadpool 1, although he's not in Hydra. He's working for Ajax, but he's one of the henchmen from the end of the movie where Deadpool finds him and says like, Bob, I can't believe you're here. And like they have a little back and forth. That's clearly who that's supposed to be. I would not be surprised now if like in Deadpool Wolverine, now that they can pull from actual Hydra, if like Deadpool goes to, you know, a Hydra fight and bumps into like this character again, maybe even played by the same actor. And he's like, oh my God, Bob, look at you for Hydra. You work for Hydra dental plan, ha ha ha. Like joke like that. In Marvel Snap, Hydra Bob is currently a one cost, four power with the card text after each turn, this moves if a player snapped. So this is like a kind of interesting, it's the only mechanic like this, as far as I can tell, where snapping which is like the way that you kind of raise uh, like betting these little cubes in the game it does something to the actual board like that. There's no other card so far in the game that has that effect. So that's cool because Hydra Bob is a card that through the data mines, we've kind of seen has changed. Originally, he was a two five and his deal was if you were losing at the location where he was at, at the end of the turn, he would move to a new location. I think that kind of sells Hydra Bob's deal better, which is just he's scared of a fight. Like he wants to be at the location where you're winning. So like if you're in a bad spot, he'll just run away. Uh, I guess you could kind of say that's what's happening now because like now he's at a location, you know, it's going fine. But then stakes are raised, snap, he runs away, go somewhere else. Uh, I can see a world where that last version of Hydra Bob is kind of useful. The thing is like, at a 1-4, that's an okay stat line, and if you're in a move deck, I guess maybe a card like this is useful. Uh, I feel like out of all the cards this season, he seems like the one that's going to be the least, you know, important. Uh, I do think, like, he's kind of funny, and I like that he has a mechanic that no other card has. Also, not bad variants. 
Uh, I re actually really like, I really like a spotlight cache. Like if I thought I would ever use this card, I would probably think about getting it because that Pandart one is beautiful. Uh, but he also has a Venomized one that I guess has been data mined. So hey, look at that. You know, Hydra Bob's got three, there's three different uh, versions of Hydra Bob. That's good. I also say this week for like spotlight cash is great week uh, because it has Nebula, who is a great card. Everyone loves her. And then Galactus, who is super helpful. Like he's his own archetype. I hate him. I hate it every time I have to play against him. But like he's a card people like to have. And that Nebula, if you already have Nebula, is that Sweeney Boo uh, variant that I think is pretty cool. And I like that artist. I'd like to see more of them in uh, Snap. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the story with Hydra Bob. He's kind of a loser. He's kind of fun. And he's part of Deadpool's crew of weirdos. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, share it with people, like it, you know, put it on subreddits and I don't know, Facebook groups, whatever people use these days. Discords, a lot of discording. So yeah, put it on discords. And uh, yeah, you know, if you're part of the Marvel Snap team, you know, reach out to me. I'd love to be in the partner program and give free gold for, you know, doing these and, you know, just be part of that. But, you know, I don't want to ask about it every video because it's going to start sounding kind of desperate. So I'll probably stop after this one next week another incredibly short one the character ajax who has like so little he's ever done it's it's very strange he's in here besides the fact that he's in the movie so i will see you then